you do, Miss William, I'm just uh, covering up some handles to protect them while I do the finish grinds on these SKs. And just writing down what serial numbers they are and everything, so, and if there's a sheath required. Um, if you hear that beep every now and then, <laughs> disregard, that's, that's the freeze dryer. We have a, well, actually mom bought a freeze dryer a couple of years ago. And um, it's just saying that what was in the freeze dryer is now done. Uh, we had some whole corn in there, so it's, it's done. It's ready to be taken out. And uh, so anyway, that's what that beef is. Uh, I hope you guys are, are preparing, putting up some foodstuffs away and water and things like that for, for whatever time period you can afford. I mean, a little bit better than nothing. So, um, I mean, right now the food, I mean, it's, it's not plentiful. It's higher in a cat's back. It's like 30, 40% around here higher than it was a few months ago. But uh, anyway, that's, it, realistically, that's food that was grown last year. So we haven't even seen what is gonna happen for what's going on this year with the droughts and uh, fertilizer pricing and fuel pricing and all this other stuff. So just uh, to be on the, the safe side, be, be a good idea to put some stuff away. It's only common sense. But not only if there's nothing, then it, it at least kind of offsets some of the cost of what it's going to be if you can get it then uh, in a few months. But anyway, that's not what the video is about. Um, here a few months ago, I was showing you guys my kit, uh, my pocket kit, and it's kind of evolved. It's always evolving. So I was going to show you what uh, what I use now or what I carry now, and I found these little topos. I mean, there's all kinds of little videos on YouTube about this little pouch. I love this little pouch. I mean, uh, the weight on it is nothing. It just depends on what you got in your pocket as to the weight. But I, you know, this is just a few ounces, and I think it's like three by I don't know five something like that. You can go on their website. It's uh, T O P O Designs, and you can see it's kind of dirty because I've been <laughs> I've been carrying this thing for about a month. And uh, anyway, I got a little fire cord here from Wazoo on there, um, and it's it's a uh, it's tender. It's fire tender. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, rearrange the camera and put this on the on the table and just kind of go through what all I have in this little pouch, and you'd be amazed at what all you can fit in something like this and uh, go from there. All right, I think you guys can see that. Uh, I just got one of the Night Eyes locking uh, carabiners on there. If I wanted to just hook it to a belt loop or something, um, then I could do that. But it's got a different color on the inside that, um, so, you know, you, you kind of easily see what's in the pouch. Okay, and you can see I've got all of this stuff kind of locked in there. Uh, this here is just a, and you can find all this stuff on Amazon. It's just a, a magnetic keychain. And basically, I mean, if you lose something in a drain or or something you can tie a string on it and drop it down there and pick it up um, very easily so um, anyway I just keep that in there in case I need to a magnetic key ring uh, this is a and I'm always using these these are the best little flat clippers that I've ever found and this is uh, Victorinox and you get these on Amazon I think they're like 10 bucks just Victorinox nail clippers uh, they got several different styles there, but I like this because it folds up, has a little um, emery board there to uh, take care of your nails. It does a wonderful job. Um, 
I've got a little uh, small Altoids tin here, and inside I've got a couple of Band-Aids. I've got uh, the P54, uh, I think is what it is. It's a little small can opener. I've got some, some tweezers for splinters. I've got uh, needles, um, safety pins, um, some Surefire, a couple of fish hooks, some, uh, some spider wire. I've got the little Wazoo um, whistle. Or I'm sorry, this is the Nightcore whistle. I think Wazoo has one too. But uh, anyway, it um, gets somebody's attention. And also I've got two, two magnets here. I can get those out. Not easy to get out. Jammed in there with a with a needle. One thing about it, they're not coming out. There we go. Okay, and they just got a hole in them. They're just rare earth magnets. They got a hole in them so you can do all kinds of things with it. And I got a little small wazoo uh, ferro rod in there with a couple of matches, store matches and things. But anyway, I just keep it in that little small Altoids tin and um, you never know when you're gonna need so, to repair clothing or something or go fishing. <laughs> Those magnets, I'll tell you what, they are some stout things. All right, I'll put that off to the side. Okay, um, I've got a uh, silver, one of the little small silver compasses. I can't hold on to nothing this morning. It's a great little compass. Man, can't hold on to nothing. And it's got a little safety pin in there. Has a mirror for signaling and also looking at your face if you if you get injured or something you can see. Uh, but anyway, it's a great little compass. So I've got that in there. It's got the markings on there. Has a um, um, a rotating bezel. So it's a great little compass um, for the price. And again, I got it on Amazon. Here's a little Wazoo sharpener. Uh, this is a um, uh, a little flashlight. Uh, I think it's an A5. Um, it's the EDC flashlight. I'm trying to see if I can see a, a brand. Anyway, I'll put a link to what it is down there in the, in the bottom of the, the uh, description if you want one. It's, I got it off of Amazon. I get most of my stuff off of Amazon. But uh, twice and you get uh, just a light, you, it'll, once it'll, it'll um, turn off. Or you can do one more time to go to a brighter level. And I don't remember what the lumens are, but it's, it's bright enough. And then it, turn it off, you go three times then it's got a little flasher there. And you got one more, it'll do an SOS. And it's steady. And you turn it off. If you go four times, well, I didn't do four times. Then you get an amber light. And that's great around the south when you got a lot of bugs and stuff. So anyway, you just set it up there and you have a little ambient light at night. So I like this little flashlight. This, this is a great little flashlight. Of course, I got a mini Bic and I've got a little titanium toothpick and I use this thing a lot. <laughs> so anyway, it just, uh, it was a very locks. It's good for skewering things and or cleaning your teeth or whatever. But I, I use that quite a bit. 
And this right here is just an old chapstick tube that I took and put some um, salve that I made myself. It has a, some plantain in it, uh, dog fennel, uh, vitamin E, uh, some things for skin and um, bites and things like that. And you also use it for chapstick because it's made out of beeswax and uh, olive oil. Um, I've got a little Swiss card in here. Uh, it has a magnifying glass, a little small letter opener, ain't much of a blade, scissors, uh, a little screwdriver as an emergency screwdriver, uh, about all it'd be good for, um, tweezers, and a ballpoint pen in case you need to write something down. I got a little Fresnel lens here that's uh, great for, for whatever you need to read or something like that. I've got a pair of specs and these are nobles because uh, as you get older, your eyesight goes. So those are, are great to kind of keep there in, as an emergency if you forget your other glasses. I've got a little tick card to remove ticks with a little magnifying glass because around here you never know. And I got a dude wipe. So I've got all of that in this little pouch and it just fits in a cargo pocket or your front pocket or whatever, you got some deep pockets. But um, it's amazing how often you actually reach in there and grab something. <laughs> so, uh, and it's always evolving. It's, you know, it's one of those things if I don't use something for a while then I'll, I'll put it aside. Uh, if I find that I, I, I wish I had something in there, then I'll put it in there if it fits. But anyway, it's just in this little Topo Designs pouch. And they have different colors. They got green and, and of course, black and, I don't know, several other colors. So go to Topo Designs, just do a Google search, and you'll be able to pull those right up. But uh, I like the little pouch. It's uh, YKK zippers. I mean, it's... It's solid. It's um, yeah, it just it's the right size. You know, as before, you probably saw the little first aid pouch. It's a little bit longer, but this one seems to fit in the pocket better, and it just everything fits in there that I need. So, anyway, I thought maybe I'd do a quick uh, quick show and tell on that, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Till the next one, you guys get in the backyard with a little stick. Be sure and take a child with you. Get the opportunity. And don't forget those plenty of band-aids and lots of knives. We'll catch you again very soon.